Hello YouTube and all who inhabit it, this is Luke with another video coming at you and today as you can see we are back in another tutorial style video and today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be showing you guys how to make gigantic explosions. Gigantic explosions that will shoot you more than 2,000 blocks into the sky. So, uh, the first thing that's the first two items that you're going to need are going to be a rail and a minecart with TNT. So, you can do this in a survival world. One of these methods you can do in a survival world, uh, but it will take a ton of resources to get all the TNT and it might take a while. So, the next one involves command blocks. So, uh, yeah. Uh, you're not going to be able to do that in survival. But anyway, what you want to start doing is uh, placing the rail down and then putting the minecart with TNT on top of the rail. Then we want to break a block right next to it. We want to shift. And then we want to find the hitbox of the rail. You can find the hitbox by looking over and then finding these black lines sur surrounding the bottom of the minecart. And then we just want to hold down the right click button how you test that this is actually working is that you can see the shadow underneath the minecart getting darker and darker and yes that actually is a shadow so we're just gonna let this run for a little bit and that should be enough for right now and actually i shouldn't have broken that because next we want to shift and then break the mo the rail underneath the minecart so this may just look like one TNT, but as you can see, it's almost like pulsating. So there is not one TNT in here. There are many more than just one piece of TNT. So real quick, I'm just going to do slash game will keep inventory true because I'm going to have to kill myself because I'm probably going to go really far into the distance. So what we want to do is we just want to walk up to this and we're going to turn on our F3 menu to see how far we travel. We're going to walk up to this and we just want to poke it with our feet. And uh, it, it might take a... Never mind. I was going to say it might take a bit to start up, but that was a really puny explosion to say the least. Um, the crater, though, was a lot bigger than normal. Just the explosion did not launch us as far as I thought it would. So um, it can launch you farther into the sky so let's get on to method number two which is the more effective method which is much more fun to play around with so i do hope that you guys enjoy this and hey while you're here why don't you go down into the description and click on my channel icon to get sent to my home channel of my youtube and then what you can do is you can go over to the big red subscribe button and click it. Subscribing does not cost any money whatsoever. So it, it kind of just gives me a number uh, of, of subscribers. So um, please do consider subscribing if you guys do enjoy this video. So to the next method. What we want to do is we want to type in slash give at p minecraft colon and then type in C-O-M-M, -M, just like that, and then hit tab, and it should autocorrect that to command block. Then hit enter. You now have a command block in your inventory. Then once you have this in your inventory, you want to place it down and then copy and paste the command in the description. It is quite a short command, so if you don't feel like copy and pasting, you can always just copy it from your mine from my Minecraft window. So you just want to copy and paste that and then this is the command that you'll need so it says slash summon minecraft colon tnt underscore minecart tilde 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 one so um yeah this is the command that we're going to need and then we want to change this impulse until it says repeat and this needs redstone to always active then hit done and as you can see, this will start happening. So real quick, we want to do slash game rule. Uh, let's see, command block output uh, false. This will essentially get rid of all of that stuff happening. Wait, why did that not work? Flash? No, that's not a real thing. False. There we go. All right. 
now as you can see that has just stopped so we can do f3 d and that will clear our chat that just essentially gets rid of all the text that flows uh when the command block does stuff so this is doing a ton of minecarts it's putting a ton of minecarts down is what i'm trying to say and uh yeah this is going to be a very lethal explosion so we can basically just let this run for as long as we want so i have a pretty good computer which means i can do this uh but if you guys don't have as good like a that good of a computer this probably isn't the best idea for you um because it can get your computer really like usually i have around 200 fps or maybe like 500 and if i walk up to this i only have about 60 40 43 43 fps right now so let's just uh turn this command block off we can change always active to needs redstone and then we just want to let this settle in all these tnt minecarts settle in so now they are all on one level and this looks like one piece of tnt but trust me guys this is not one piece of tnt so we just want to do the exact same thing that we did over there we just want to walk up to this and poke it uh it might take a little bit to start up uh but let, let's oh yep and then if we look at our f3 menu we are more than 2,000 blocks into the uh, into the sky. We were almost 3,000 blocks into the sky. So as you guys can plainly see, this thing is extremely powerful. We went so high that we can now see the moon. Um, so yeah, this is extremely powerful. And once we reach the ground, we will be able to see what an impact it made. It might not have made a, a huge impact because... Um, because they were all concentrated and there were a lot of them usually when they're not as concentrated and there aren't as many of them they don't make as big of a crater but i have no idea where i am i'm gonna have to slash kill myself so then we're gonna go right here and then where is the crater yeah see it didn't make that big of a crater um but as you can see it launched me extremely high into the air so that is essentially it for these command blocks again this is the command that you'll need slash summon minecraft uh, to be, well, i just forgot what that was called slash summon minecraft colon tnt underscore minecart tilde 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 one and then uh this is the output and uh you want to change that to repeat always active and you are essentially done so if you guys did enjoy this video, as I said earlier, please do consider leaving a like and subscribing. It really helps out my channel and it really lets me know that you guys care. So um, yeah, I guess that is it and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.